Hey learners, Pranshi from this site. Welcome to my channel, guys. In today's video, we are going to learn parallel and distributed computing, multiple choice question and answer quiz, and it's from unit one. Okay, guys. So, I will try this in this particular video. I will cover your unit one cover kara for your examination. Okay. So, let's begin. In this, your first question is. A parallel computing system consists of multiple processors that communicate with each other using a Option A. Allocated memory Option B. Shared memory Option C. Network Option D. None of the above Right answer is Option B. Shared memory Okay. So, a parallel computing system consists of multiple processors that communicate with each other using a shared memory Okay. Next question, a statement in parallel computing systems as the number of processors increases with enough parallelism available in application is true or false? Is true. Okay. So, in parallel computing systems as the number of processors increase with enough parallelism available in application is true. Next question. What is and are the factors for the popularity of distributed system? Option A. Reliability. Option B. Scalability. Option C. Data sharing. Option D. Resource sharing. And option E. All of the above. Right answer is option E. All of the above. Okay. So, factors for the popularity of distributed system included reliability as well as scalability. As well as data sharing is the features of distributed system and resource sharing is also the features of distributed system. Okay, so right answer is option E, all of the above. Next question. Parallel computing can be used in option A, science and engineering. Option B, database and data mining. Option C, real-time simulation of systems. And option D, all of the above. Right answer is option D, all of the above. Next question. What are the current trends in microprocessor architecture? Option A. Increase in clock speed. Option B. Pipelining. Option C. Superscalar. Option Superscalar execution. Option D. All of the above. Right answer is option B. Pipelining. Okay. So, pipelining are the current trends in microprocessor architecture. Next question. VLIW stands for, it's very important question guys, very long instruction processor, option B, very large instruction processor, option C, very long instruction processing, option D, very large instruction processing. Right answer is option A, very long instructions processor, don't be confused here, okay. Next question, dichotomy of parallel computing platforms are based on option A, logical organization. Option B, physical organization. Option C, both A and B. And option D, none of these. Right answer is option C, both A and B. Okay. Dichotomy of parallel computing platforms are based on logical organization as well as physical organization. Right answer is option C, both A and B. Next question. Critical components of parallel computing logically. Option A. Control structure. How to express parallel task. Option B. Communication model. Mechanism for specifying interaction. Option C. Both A and B. And option D. None of these. Right answer is option C. Both A and B. Next question. SIMT stands for. Option A. Single instructions. Multiple data. Option B. Sync. Simple instructions, multiple data. Option C, single instructions, matrix data. Option D, simple instructions, matrix data. Right answer is option A, single instructions, multiple data. Okay. This is very important question, guys. Please focus on it. Next question. MIMD stands for option A, multiple instructions, matrix data. Option B, matrix instructions, matrix data. Option C, matrix instructions, multiple data. Option D. Multiple instructions, multiple data. Right answer is option D. Multiple instructions, multiple data. Next question. SIMD requires less blank space than MIMD. Option A. Hardware. Option B. Memory. Option C. Both A and B. And option D. None of these. Right answer is option C. Both A and 
बी ओके सो एस आई एम डी रिक्वायर लेस हार्डवेयर एज वेल एज लेस मेमरी देन एम आई एम डी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एस पी एम डी एग्जीक्यूट ऑप्शन ए सिंगल प्रोग्राम और डिफरेंट प्रोसेसर ऑप्शन बी मल्टीपल प्रोग्राम ऑन सिंगल प्रोसेसर ऑप्शन सी सिंगल प्रोग्राम ऑन सिंगल प्रोसेसर ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए सिंगल प्रोग्राम और डिफरेंट प्रोसेसर ओके सो एस पी एम डी एग्जीक्यूट सिंपल प्रोग्राम ऑन डिफरेंट प्रोसेसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इंटर कनेक्शन नेटवर्क क्लासिफाइज एज ऑप्शन ई स्टेटिक नेटवर्क ऑप्शन बी डायनेमिक नेटवर्क ऑप्शन सी बोथ ए एंड बी एंड ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी बोथ ए एंड बी इंटर कनेक्शन नेटवर्क क्लासिफाइज एज स्टेटिक नेटवर्क एंड एज वेल एज डायनेमिक नेटवर्क ओके सो दे आर टाइप्स ऑफ इंटर कनेक्शन नेटवर्क फर्स्ट वन इज स्टेटिक नेटवर्क एंड सेकेंड वन इज डायनेमिक नेटवर्क नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टेटिक इंटर कनेक्शन नेटवर्क टोपोलॉजीज आर ऑप्शन ए वन डी डी मीन्स डायमेंशनल डायमेंशनल ऑप्शन बी टू डायमेंशनल ऑप्शन सी एच सी एंड ऑप्शन डी आल ऑफ दीज राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी आल ऑफ दीज ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टेटिक इंटर कनेक्शन नेटवर्क टोपोलॉजीज आर ऑप्शन ए बस बेस्ड ऑप्शन बी स्विच बेस्ड ऑप्शन सी बोथ ए एंड बी एंड ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज ओके सो स्टेटिक इंटर कनेक्शन नेटवर्क टोपोलॉजीज आर नॉट टू बी बस बेस्ड नॉट टू बी स्विच बेस्ड एंड नॉट टू बी बोथ ए एंड बी सो राइट आंसर हेयर इज ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट आर द क्राइटेरिया यूज टू कैरेक्टराइज द कॉस्ट एंड परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ स्टेटिक आई सी एन ऑप्शन ए डायामीटर ऑप्शन बी कनेक्टिविटी ऑप्शन सी बाई सेक्शन बेथ एंड बैंड बेथ ऑप्शन डी कॉस्ट एंड ऑप्शन ई आल ऑफ दीज right answer is option e all of these okay so the criteria used to characterize the cost and performance of a static icn is diameter as well as connectivity as well as bisection breadth and band breadth and cost also so right answer is option e all of these next question what are principle that determine the communication latency between two nodes option e startup time option b p hop time option c pre bird transfer time option d all of these right answer is option d all of these next question routing techniques used in parallel computers option a store and forward routing option b packet routing option c cut through routing and option d all of these right answer is option d all of these so routing techniques used in parallel computing in stack and forward routing and in is the packet routing and in cut through routing okay next question what are routing mechanism for interconnection network option a minimal option b non minimal option c deterministic option d adaptive option e all of these right answer here is option e all of these next question GPU stands for option A graphics processing unit option B graphical processing unit option C graphics processed unit option D graphical processed unit right answer is option A graphics processing units GPU stands for graphics processing unit okay guys now let's wind up this lecture see you in the unit 2 quiz of parallel and distributed computing wish you a very very all the best for your examination be safe be happy and please share this video with your friends thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel for more videos